What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John City 4 and today people I will be reviewing Call of Duty World War 2 the beta and this time it's going to be the positive side. If you guys want to see the negative side, all the bad things I got to say about this game, make sure you go back one video and you'll see all the negative stuff I got to say about this game man because you know there's a lot of bad things that I had to mention off my chance because it, it was just all stored in there. I was like nope I'm going to release it on this video. So anyways go check it out you guys want to see all the negative side but today it's going to be all about the positive side so it's going to be all sunshine and rainbow so grab a bucket of ice cream and chug it up because today I'll be putting a smile on your face because of all the exciting stuff to expect from this game. So first things first of course has to be the boots on the ground we finally don't see anybody jumping around 10 feet high on cocaine because uh, you know Advanced Warfare was famous for that. They were super quick on their freaking toes man I couldn't keep up with that game. It broke two of my controllers so it was kind of an insane year that year but like yeah you know we got finally get to get boots on the ground this year and we get to test it out on PS4 and Xbox One so we get these all these new gen graphics last time we get to, we, we got to do this wasn't Call of Duty Ghost but I didn't play Ghost so this is refreshing to me I'm glad Call of Duty is doing this so Boots on the Ground is back another good thing about this game has to be the guns it's refreshing because you don't get the 8Ks, you don't get the M16s, you know, the three round bursts and all that stuff. You get either single shot, bolt action, or automatic. That's about it in this game. Unless they're gonna add the three round burst later on, then then pretty much my argument here is nullified. But you know, you guys get my point. Like you get to use all these old school weapons, and what can you expect from these weapons? They're not gonna be accurate as hell. <laughs> you know, because you know you got all these futuristic weapons over here in Infinite Warfare and Advanced Warfare and, and Black Ops 3. They're all accurate as hell from long range, but uh, you know, not this year. These weapons freaking recoil suck, and that's a good thing. So you don't expect to get the same shot over and over again. You gotta freaking get your mind trained into these guns and you know get used to the recoil because that's how challenging it's going to be a little bit on long range so that's a good thing i'm glad they're doing this recoil stuff a lot of people are crying about it like oh X, like i saw the x joss tweet like x joss uh tweeted that the recoil of the guns all suck that's why this game sucks in total like my man you don't want challenge in this game might as well play in a baby mode like i don't know play this game with baby mode like i don't know how to, what to say but like if you don't want recoil, just go away. Then <laughs> just go play something else. Go play freaking you no know, Splatoon over there. They don't have recoil over there. Or freaking Star Wars. They don't they didn't have recoil over there either. So I don't know what he's crying about. Also the movement system is a little bit fast, you know, it's kind of like the Black Ops 2 kind of speed, so that's good. A lot of people cry about this that oh it's slow pace. This that's what's going to kill the game. It's not slow pace. For God's sakes, you know, it's not they're literally misleading people on this kind of stuff and if you're a subscriber to one of those youtubers that said that that all oh, this game is slow paced it's not it's really not that if they want slow paced go play modern warfare 3 and black ops 3 and play black ops 3 without jumping around you'll see how slow that game is you, and then you'll notice like oh my god joel was right so um so yeah like this game ain't slow at all you just gotta use an smg and you'll see how fast you run around in circles so Another thing is, I get to play into my old style. You know, rush around, bum rush, sweaty, or whatever you want to call me. You know, I'm just rushing the crap out of the enemy. I don't care what they think. I don't care if they think I'm a bully. I'm going to go out there and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill them all. I don't give a damn, man. That's my old school style way, and I'm going to keep it like that. So, I'm glad I can do that again. And also, another funny, one funny thing that's going on, like around the game, is that people are jumping around. Like, they're doing this kind of like bunny hop. They're thinking like they're oh I'm playing Black Ops 3 so I'm a bunny hop around and it's hilarious. People are thinking they're they're playing like in this futuristic game they're not. So um so that's it guys. Those are all the positive things I gotta say about this game. The maps they look good. You know they're decent. Except for the layouts though. I'm starting to notice some of the copy and paste from each sing each, each in single map. But I'll talk about it in a separate video because I want I really want to expose these maps. And um, that's a negative thing to say about this game, so I'm going to keep it to myself for right now. <laughs> but it's going to be a surprise video. It's going to be a really, really big exposed video that I want to do on Call of Duty. So um, hopefully I don't get a lot of negative feedback. <laughs> because people are not supposed to stay quiet about this. And so I swear, I've done this before and I'm, I'm going to do it again. So the kill streaks are also refreshing, guys. They're, they're not um, they're not like always like the counter UAV, they're not like always like the UAV, you got Molotovs, you got Flamethrower, you got Air Strafe, I call it off a few times in this match too. You got uh, Paratroopers, except that killstreak kinda sucks because the Paratroopers AI really suck. 
So I don't know about you guys, do not install that kill streak. They don't do much for you because the enemy has called it against me a few times. I killed all those par those paratroopers that gave me a lot of points, and voila, I got all my kill streaks. So stay away from the paratroopers, guys. They're not that good. If they want to add like a big kill streak, they should have added dogs or a chopper gunner. That would have been a little bit better. So that is it, guys. I wanted to talk about today. Tell me one thing you like about this game. Leave it in the comment section. So I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more Call of Duty World War II.